Let's talk about script templates. Alright, so what are our script templates? Well, you'll notice these every time you go to create a new script in your project. You'll notice this pop up here. And these are your templates. Of course, by default, we have the node default and object empty. Now, what you may not see are the options for things like no comments again, like you, you may have had in uh, during 3.x. And that's just because some of these things have actually changed in the way, in the pathing that it finds these templates. And we're actually going to re implement the no comments version uh, that we used to have. We're going to put it back in here. Because that template still exists, it's just not uh, in the correct location, let's say. Alright, so how do we create this, create these templates? Well, you can create it with any text editor. In fact, you can even create it inside of uh, Gato here. As long as it is a GD or .cs extension, that'll tell uh, the editor whether it's a template or GD script or for C sharp. Now we can see we got one here for node, one for object. So let's go ahead. How do we how do we create these? Well, we're not going to create it in this exact instance because we're going to use the ones that already exist. But if you don't have it and it doesn't exist for you for whatever reason, we're going to go to the editor's templates here. And as you see here on Windows, it's in the user, your username, app data, roaming. Gato and script templates. If you don't know how to get here and app data maybe is hidden for you, uh, all you have to do is just come up here and type in percent app data percent. Hit the enter key and it'll take you right into a, right into that folder. And then just locate Gato and script templates. All right, so we can see the no comments is here and the empty is here. But remember, the empty, we can see that, but we don't have the no comments here anymore. So let's add that no comments option in there. Well, what do we do? Inside the script templates, we have to actually create another folder. And this folder will be the name of the class the template is for. So if we say, if we put it in a folder called control, then control nodes and anything that inherits from a control node will be able to use it. So if we use control, then all UI uh, nodes will be able to use it. If we do node 2D, all the 2D nodes will be able to use it. But sometimes we want to be a little more generic than that. And we can just type in node because everything is going to inherit from node. So if we stick it in node, everything will be able to use this template. Now, no comments. If we were to open that up, just give me two seconds here. Capture that. Just enlarge that real quick. We can see we have extends and we use percent base percent. Um, is what it's showing us here. And if that's changed, I'll show you the edit for that. If that's changed, I don't think it is, but we can see that and that's automatically going to replace or put in that placeholder, whatever node type it is. So if we add it to the texture rec, it should say extends texture rec. And then funk ready and void returns because it doesn't return anything. And the uh, TS there is just a tab space. I guess it, I can only assume is what it stands for. Um, but it is a tab, one tab uh, indent. All right, so what do we do with this thing? Well, all we're going to do to re-add no comments in here, we're just going to grab that no underscore comments dot GD, drag it up and drop it inside the node folder. All right. Now, when we come up into our script and we go to our texture rec, in this case again, add a script. 
We open the template, and there it is. Node, no comments. And if we were to create that, oh, and we can see the errors. Okay, so the, this percent doesn't exactly work anymore. That's good to know. That means we're going to have to edit that. Few seconds here. Here we go. Delete that one. Remove. And okay, so how do we fix this? Well, let's go ahead. Let's go into our comments here. And let's change this from percent to underscore. So And let's save that. All right, and that should give us uh, so our information here. I'm uh, gonna double check things here. Uh, okay. All right, so Control S to save that. Back in here. Add that again. Picture rec. Let's use our no comments uh, template here. That's inside the editor location that we created. And just create. And there we go. We have extends picture rec. We have our tab space in here. And our void return is not working here. Now, why is that? Well, that's because we're going to have to. Uh, make one there's one small change that's been or that's happened here all right upon uh checking things out it seems that the placeholder that was here for void is no longer here so if you want to use it then you're just gonna have to type it out like you see here let's go ahead and save that but you have to type it out like it is here uh if you don't have this or you don't typically use this it's not going to affect your uh, normal code in any way and if you don't want it you don't use it whatever you can just delete it not a problem but that's all we have to do to turn this into or to convert this no comments script into uh, a template that we can actually use here. now of course you can use this for uh, creating all kinds of templates for yourself maybe you have a utility script that has a bunch of functions that you constantly use all the time right or maybe you just got one that stores a bunch of uh, a bunch of things for you like maybe it's got all, all your different save and loads for different file types maybe it's got your image converters uh, maybe you, you like putting screenshot ability or screenshot buttons in your games and projects maybe you're you have a utility script that always has that screenshot function in there and maybe a few other things but you can get the idea of how you can do this and this can easily transfer from project to project now if you don't want to go into your app data here then what we can do and i'll show you that this uh here texture and we select our new one here we great there it is so that does still work. But what you can do is we're gonna back out. We're gonna grab the script template folder here. And as the default, let me two seconds. There we go. We're gonna go into our game and just paste in this uh, script templates folder. This is the default location that your project is gonna look in. Uh, res slash script templates. And you could change this in your project settings if you wanted. But again, just in there. And we have our node folder. This empty won't do anything for us. We have our node folder with our script inside for no comments. And if you do it this way, then our code is gonna be project based or rather our template it's going to be project based yeah, so if I go and create one now 
we see we go in here we have one for the editor which is uh our templates in the in the code the editor and app data and then we have one for projects which is the one that we just created inside of our res slash script templates location and either one will work in this case they're both going to do exactly the same so there you go there's how we can play around with templates add custom ones and this will help you maybe move some standard code from maybe one project to another so you can imagine you can have you can create yourself a bunch of templates uh, maybe you have an eight-way directional movement a top-down rpg uh, character controller a platformer controller uh, etc and then you can just bring it in and select it and you're already up and running just that much quicker or you can go with it with that utility approach but that's it for this one. Take care. Have yourselves a good one and I'll see you in the next one.